Welcome back. Glad you're with us. Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach standing outside the brand new Miramar 34.6. So a couple of things. First, I want to start with Carol. We put out a little message not too long ago letting you know, hey, we are going to walk through the brand new 34.6 Miramar at 345, which it is now. Carol wrote, just bought ours. Love it. We do road trips almost every weekend now with eight of us. I am glad you are enjoying it, Carol. I'm guessing you have the 37.1. I may be wrong, but I'm so glad you're out there having a great time in your Miramar. What we have here is the 34.6. Now, this is a shorter bunkhouse model. For those of you who want to have the room to sleep, everybody, but want to drive something a little bit smaller, this is going to be a few feet smaller for you. This is coming in at 35 feet, 10 inches long. This 37 one is just over 38 feet, so you're going to be under 36 feet here, which is a nice length. You're still going to have the bunks in here, a lot of great features. Your height, let's call it 13, all right? With the ACs, you're looking at 12 feet, 11 inches, so about 13 feet high. Something else we're going to do in this video, on top of give you the details, the highlights, and the specs, we had a, a message saying, hey, I'd love to see this with the slide in to see what type of room we have. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna kinda of go through a basic setup for you of the brand new 34.6. So when this ends up in your yard, you'll know how to use it. Starting up front, brand new V8 motor on the F53 chassis for the Miramar this year. We're talking 350 horsepower, 468 pound feet of torque. So this thing is gonna get you going. It starts down low, 3900 RPM. So really no problem getting up to speed right under the hood to access the engine. There's a couple of bullnose keys here. You put that and you turn it, you lift, you pull up, and then you have access right under there so you can check your fluids, do your maintenance, and just like anything else, you are gonna know, you check your oil, you know, check your coolant, check your windshield washer fluid, headlights, all of that uh, before you head out. Something else this Miramar features on the chrome mirrors, they're heated, you can adjust them from inside. Right here, this is a camera. This is actually gonna spray down the side when you turn your directional on. You'll see the image displayed on a really nice radio inside, 10.1 inch touchscreen. It's like tablet size. You're gonna see down your left, you're gonna see down your right. You can even turn on the camera, see what's behind you when you have something to that 8,000 pound hitch. So as we move down the side here, we're gonna go ahead and open up the storage base here because this does give you a lot of great storage options. They are rotocast, durable, they are huge. There are lights you can turn on with Rapid Camp Plus, which I actually have hooked up right here to, let me open the app, to my phone. I just downloaded it, downloaded it minutes ago. Uh, it will pull up here and when it pairs up, you will be able to turn on your lights straight from your motorhome. Let me type in the pin. You download the app, you type in the pin which is on the uh, display, and here you go. So we go to the lights and we will turn on, let's do cargo. And there, they just went on. You can also, which is nice, uh, put out your awning from here. So let's let's take you through a basic camp setup, okay? So you're driving down the road. You have your 5,500 watt generator on, which I do all the time when I'm driving. Um, I love to uh, have the air conditioners on. You have two 13.5 units in this. Everyone's cool in the cabin. It's nice, it's comfortable, you pull into camp. All right, you slide into your spot there. You hook up your power, 50 amp shore power on this. You hook up your water. You have a 100 gallon uh, fresh water tank on this. Your gray and your black are 40 each. And then you put down your one touch leveling jacks. They go down in order for those to go on. The engine needs to be run. Your parking brake needs to be on. And then we will uh, go ahead and put out our slides, which we can do from here. Uh, but let me take you through the rest of the bays here. So you have a little storage up top in front of your propane tank here. This is great. This is going to run your water heater. Uh, this is going to run your furnace and some storage up top, maybe for some tools, whatever you need out there. Your entry, which we'll talk about when we go in. This is for your furnace. That does get very, very hot. Nice pass-through storage bay, which is where Tom keeps his computer bag. You can see we have nice pass-through up there, skis, fishing poles, whatever you need room for, you're going to have it uh, right in there. The nice thing about these storage bays is because they are rotocast and you have nice slam latch doors as you pull the cord out of there. You have the slam latch doors, they stay shut. The rotocast, you can hose it out. Something gets dirty, something gets messy in there. Uh, this is going to be... There's your uh, 100 gallons of fresh water. And what's nice, when you go to winterize this, you just turn the valve 
one inch valve and that will drain your tanks in a snap. Um, you've got to winterize, you want to sanitize them, that is going to help you out, but that is access to your 100 gallons of fresh water. Steer your television right here, you do have your Bluetooth sound bar. This is on a swivel, that will come out, you can take and have the sound from the TV here or you don't even have to watch TV. A lot of people say, well, you, there are so many TVs. Nobody makes you turn them on. You don't have to turn them on. But if you want to download some music and play it uh, right through this Bluetooth uh, soundbar, you can do that. All you have to do is just pair it like you would any other device. We move down to the back, pet tie down. If you have a pet with you, you can tie your dog down there. This also makes a great place for uh, bikes. We use it when we go out. Uh, when we are able to get a unit, we lock our bikes up right there at night and uh, safe to go. Right here, this is your tankless hot water. Not a whole lot you need to do with this, but that's where it is. It does exhaust hot air, so just be aware of that. As we move on down, this houses your House batteries, you have two of them there. You also have the hydraulic pump for your one-touch leveling jacks and video on how to reset those if you need to do that. But uh, there are different colors for a label. Real easy uh, to, to do, but you shouldn't have any issues. And back here, this is another great feature of this 34.6 is you do have this exterior kitchen. This is a 110 fridge. So you do have an 1800 watt inverter in here that is hooked up to this outlet, uh, your fridge inside and a couple other outlets. But you're outside, you got a couple of cold ones in here, maybe uh, some snacks up in here. Uh, you have a pump right here to help the water get back to your gray tank. So you fill this up after you're washing your hands or whatever it is you're doing. You have outlets out here, it has a light right here. So if it's dark out and you're doing a cookout with the exterior propane connection, which is right there, this is really convenient. So you hook up a grill, maybe a fire pit, you're outdoors, you are living outside. Okay, so this is how the outside is set. The nice thing about this 34.6 is if you've noticed, the full slide is on the other side. So you are out here, no encumbrances. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to put out our awning. So you just head over to here. All right, so it's under the slide room. You hit awning, front awning, extend. One touch comes out just like that. You can do that out here because sometimes you pull into these tight campgrounds. And you're not sure, boy, is this, is this going to clear that branch? Well, if you are out here using Rapid Camp Plus, you can most certainly do that. We have awning lights you can turn on. Notice that they are right here in the arm. So this is really going to light up your campsite nice at night. And even when the awning is in, it is going to stay lit for you. You have some lights here, really lights it up nice. You have a wind sensor, so if it does get a little rough out there, it'll automatically put it in. But when you are done for the evening or you're going to be out for the day, you simply hit retract and in it comes and you can keep the lights on. Now we're going to go set up camp on the inside. All right, so this is your 34.6 with the slide in. Okay, so I do have access, I can use the restroom. This has one restroom compared to the 37.1, which is going to give you two. So you can get back into here into the bathroom and we'll give you a tour of the bathroom later. You can use the bathroom while you're driving. You can come out, shut the door. Tom, I'm gonna trade you places here. Don't fall, stand right over here so we can trade places in, in a socially distant, safe way. All right, so this is your 34.6 with the slides in. Typically your seats won't be in this fashion, but for this demonstration, we will. Um, you do have to have your motor on, all right? And it's going to be on when you put down your one-touch leveling jacks. Your parking brake is set. You have a couple of options. You can take and you can go back to the rapid camp control panel and hit extend there. Or you can simply do it from here. You have the nice one full wall slot. I'm going to simply hit extend on my rapid camp plus. You're going to continue to hold that button down and you're going to put your slide out. You can hear the motors. Now these are just uh, you have motors on this that just basically go in and out. And if they do get out of sync, which will happen because in this you're probably traveling with kids and maybe they're walking up and down or they've dropped something and you stop, you know, you're going to stop putting the slide out. Then you're going to extend it. Maybe your finger will come off the button. Whatever it is, if they do get out of sync, it's real easy to sync these motors up. And you can do that right from here. You can do it from the main screen. And it's really just six simple touches. You're going to listen for noise. Uh, let me stand right up here so you can you can hear it. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you hear that? That means your motors are synced right back up. So now the next time you go to put your slide in, 
you aren't going to have any issues with that. You know what? While we're up here, let's talk about some of the great features you're going to find. So you're set up, your slides out, you're hooked up to power, you got your water on, you have your sewer, you have your chairs spun around, you got your table set up, you're, you're thumbing through your interior color choices. You have Black Magic 2, which is what we are in. You have Lakeview. You have Quicksilver. So these are your, your options right there. So some beautiful choices. Uh, some great paint schemes as well. And this is a brand new, we talked about the F53 motor, right? And chassis, well, Ford redid their dash and their steering wheel as well. Okay, so you have controls over here, take you through a couple of menus. You have custom settings, you have tripometers, you can check out maintenance reminders, how much oil life is left. Uh, you even have a couple custom settings such as for your auto headlights. So you can adjust that as well, which is just leave that in auto, gets dark, the headlights come on. Here are the controls for your remote mirrors. That's where you turn on the heat. Fog lights, you can turn those on right here. You have a generator uh, start button as well. Uh, over here, this is your emergency start button. So in the event that you somehow drain uh, your house batteries or you drain your chassis battery, you can use the house batteries to jump it. You hold that in, turn the key. That'll start that right up for you. Uh, over here, you have tra uh, hazards, traction control, dash fans right over here, your generator start. Remember, you're starting your generator. Hold that down, you're gonna to wanna to prime it, and then when the light comes on, then you're good to start. And again, this is a 5,500 watt generator, and that runs right off your fuel tank. Cabin lights, you can turn your cabin lights up and off. You have uh, map lights right there, you can turn on and off. Uh, down here, there's your docking lights, and then you have your nightshade. You can put down at night when uh, you need some privacy, or even if the sun's super bright, uh, you can put it down a little bit, use it as a, as a visor. Now, it will not go down all the way in your driving as a safety precaution in case you get to trigger happy there. Uh, we're moving over to our infotainment center 10.1 inch screen. You have what's nice about this is GP, the, the navigation, the GPS navigation here is RV specific. So what you do is you download, you scan the code. There's going to be a QR code in here and you download the app. And then this will give you the ability to type in the length of your motorhome. So you put in, okay, this is 35 feet, 10 inches, and you, you put in the height. This is 12 feet, 11 inches. And this will take you down roads that are going to be safe for your motorhome to use. You're not going to have any issues. You're not going to have to worry, am I going to make it under that bridge? It's there for you. You can plug your phone into here, download the Xera app, and that gives you a lot of access to points of interest and places you're going to want to stop and see along the way onto your destination. And there are always those spots you want to pull over. Over here, we have our flip out dash workstation. You can see we have 12 volt outlets here. There's a 110 down below, so you can go ahead and you can plug in down there. And we have the laptop up there as we are streaming, but we are spun around. We'll take a look at our living area. This is our dream dinette. This seats four really easy. Uh, one of the nice things about this is you do have quite a bit of storage underneath these drawers pull out like that. You can put blankets in there or games. You know, Yahtzee is a favorite when we're out. When we're out, this also turns into a bed at night. Really easy to use, a nice comfortable spot. There is a handle underneath here. I'm not, uh, I'm not avoiding you. I'm just looking up some questions here because uh, I like to answer your questions if I can. There we go. All right. So there you go. Uh, Mike asking, is there a service center near us? You know what you're going to want to do, Mike, is hop onto our website, thormotorcoach.com, and uh, talk to our CoachLink sales advisor. They'll be able to help you out find a service center there. So you flip the lever. I'm, I've already broken a cup today, so I'm not going to do that again. But you clear this off, obviously, first, and then you can push that down. You move your cushions into place, and you have a nice bed in the morning. You shove the bedding wherever you need to go because you have a lot of cabinets. You flip this up, lock this in place, and now you are ready to go. Over here, a couple of options. This has the theater seats in it, the nice reclining theater seats. You just put your feet out, and away you go. You have a TV right back there. So this is really great for some viewing. If you'd like a sofa, that also makes into a bed. You can uh, get that. But this has the theater seat options, which is always a plus. Throw your remotes in here, you have your beverages in here, a lot of storage up above. Uh, one of the things you'll find in here, we do have a Blu-ray player, we also have an HDMI distribution box, we also have somebody's chapstick and lighter. That is not included. Somebody uh, just dumped 
dump that in there. So uh, we do have a, a couple of people in, in town looking at some of these units. But there's chapstick and a light right now. Uh, Blu-ray player, HDMI distribution box, which is actually a nice thing for a Roku or Apple TV or an Xbox or a PlayStation. Whatever you need, you can hook that up through here. Moving into our kitchen, a couple of great features here. One, you're going to get solid surface countertops here, okay? Nice solid surface sink cover that goes over your sink. Just like that, you have a little extra room when you need it for a cookbook. Use it as a cutting board. Throw the remains in here. Scoop them out. Throw them away. Pull down sprayer. Have a couple of options, the stream, or you can put it into the shower mode. Uh, this is the best of both worlds. I love this cooktop because you also have an induction along with two gas burners. You can use all three at the same time. This is going to run off your propane. And if you are just out and you're, you're like, oh, I don't have any propane in the tank. Well, one, you can get that filled anywhere. Uh, hardware stores, anywhere they fill propane, you can get that filled. But you can also use the electric induction cooktop when you don't want to heat up your motorhome. We do have the convection microwave up on top. You just hit convection. And then you can type in, oh, we want to cook this at 350 degrees. And then you set your timer. And just like your oven, this will cook. It will bake. You can do cookies. You can whatever you want to do. We have done on our Mobile Meals Cooking Show, which you can find on our YouTube channel, a number of recipes. All right, Tom, we, I'm, we're not going to name them all off. We've done a full Thanksgiving dinner. Um, the air fryer. The air fryer. Yeah, you can plug an air fryer in here. Uh, we have made uh, some pasta, we've made some sandwiches, some toasted breakfast. sandwiches, a full breakfast, casserole. Um, we have done so many, you'll check them out on YouTube. It's mobile meals and it's really cooking in your motorhome. Lots of storage down below here for pots and pans and whatever you need here. And more storage and drawers and cabinets. A pantry, who doesn't need a pantry? Everyone needs a pantry. Nice tall boxes to the back there, paper towels. You can put uh, your condiments in there. You can put your cereal in there. It is Count Chocula season, by the way, so load up with your Count Chocula. My favorite. All right, nice refrigerator with rapid cold technology, meaning this is going to cool down for you a little bit faster. But this is a residential refrigerator. This is where you're going to set your temperature control in here. And down below, we have our refrigerator, nice and spacious. Uh, this is all here to keep it safe during its travel, but nice room for sodas. And you put your condiments, your milk, your butter, and your cheese, everything you need. And again, when you turn on your inverter through Rapid Camp Plus, that will fire up for you. It'll also run when it's on your generator, and it will run when you are plugged into shore power. Uh, your Rapid Camp Plus is just a great system. We have a full full run through on this, which I posted a couple of links in previous videos uh, today, people who have this, how to use it. Uh, it's really, it's really user friendly. You can, it's, as you see, lights on or off. Here's my tank levels. Do you want your water pump on or off? Here's my house battery voltage. Here's my chassis battery voltage. Here's my auto gen start. You can get into your power settings. Uh, how many hours are on the generator? What are the triggers for your gen start? Do you want low volts? Do you want to run it off your HVAC so when it hits a certain temperature, it will turn on the generator and fire up the ACs in here, which is great if you have pets and you're out for the day. Control all your lights. You can set your climates. Again, we have uh, two AC units, one in the front, one in the rear. You have a furnace. Just set it to auto on days like today when it's, you know, you wake up here in Indiana and it's 46 degrees, then in the afternoon it gets 80. That's a great option for you. You have vents and fans, your slides, your awnings, and then some settings in here. And this is where you connect to the mobile app under the settings page. You hit mobile app, you type in the code, and you're set. Solar controller, this does have 100 watts of solar charging standard on top. This is a 10 amp controller. If you'd like to add more panels, you are more than welcome to. It's wired for you. There is strapping up there, so you just, it's plug and play. This will tell you the volts, uh, everything coming in here. And this is for your generator, or I'm sorry, this is for your inverter, 1800 watt inverter. You can go ahead and turn that on when uh, you need some power to the outlets when you're not plugged into shore power or your generator is running. But keep in mind that you can't keep uh, this running forever as there will be a drain. Just like anything else, it's going to drain your batteries if this is the only source of power. But when your generator is on, uh, you're going to charge your batteries when you're plugged into shore power. You're going to charge your batteries when you're driving down the road. You're going to charge your house batteries as long as your battery disconnect switch is in the on position and you leave it there during your entire trip. Moving back into the 346. We do have some bunks, and this is a nice addition. As we get back down in here into the bunks, I'm going to hang out down here for a second, Tom. All right, so 
USB charging ports. These are great for the kids. You have 110, you have cable, and we do have, you know, you want to throw the tablet up in here to do some streaming. That's what kids are doing to watch TV. Uh, somebody had commented and said, well, gosh, I love bunks, but I don't travel with kids. I just want to, I just really want the room. <laughs> oh, you got it. Closet rod, this just lifts up pops into place here, you lock it in and you have hanging space. If you'd like to just take this board out altogether, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and then you have all the hanging space you need if you don't need the bunks. But a lot of great options for you here. Heading into our bathroom. We have a, whew, there you go, Tom, look at that. We got our sliding glass door, your sink, you do have your toilet, controls for your tankless hot water heater back there. A lot of storage in the bathroom. You have a Exhaust fan up top, tall showers too. Um, you know, I'm uh, Department of Transportation has me just about six one. I'm wearing my big boots today. As you can see, I have room to move. I can shower. Yeah, the skylight lets in a lot of nice natural light, so you're not getting out with soap in your hair. Medicine cabinet, which is huge to carry everything you need. And in a motorhome like this, you'll be gone for more than just just a few hours or a few days. Uh, but, you know, a lot of long weekends are in the, in the mix, and this is a great time of year to travel. We head back into the bedroom. King-size, tilt-to-view bed. This is a great option for you. Now, keep in mind, when you put the slide in, it does have to be in the up position. A lot of people are wondering, can I keep it down? No, you can keep it like this, but you still have room. If for some reason you want to come back here and, and watch TV, you can do that. A lot of storage back here as well. Deep cabinets above. We do have USB ports in the nightstands. Large, large drawers, deep drawers. Control panels for uh, your lighting and your climate. Another hanging space back here, a filler cushion for the dinette. The ladder for your overhead bunk is in here. Yep, standard drop down overhead bunk you can control with Rapid Camp Plus. Right through here, if you would like a washer and dryer, look at this. This does have laundry prep. So a stackable washer and dryer is all ready to go in here. That's just a panel in the back. You would remove the screws, uh, plumbing, outlets, everything you need. You move the shelves, and now you have a stackable washer and dryer in your Miramar 346. You also have privacy doors, so you can shut off the area. Just pull the door, and away you go. You do have privacy back there for the bunks. These doors shut as well, so you can kind of enclose everybody off into their own separate sleeping area in the Miramar 34.6. So this is a brief tour of what it is and how you use it. If you'd like more information, you can always go to ThorMotorCoach.com. That is a great resource for a number of reasons. I know we have a couple of new owners out there, our new Miramar owner who is enjoying their trips. If you haven't already, go to ThorMotorCoach.com Owner's Resource tab. Type in your VIN, get an account set up because this is a great option for you. If you would ever need schematics, uh, for some reason, or you want owner's manuals, you can find everything you need about your specific build right there in our owner's resources page. So get signed up there. You're also going to get helpful videos, quick start guides, everything you need. If you're thinking about getting a motorhome and you're overwhelmed by the experience and you think, oh my gosh, there's so much to learn, well, that's where our YouTube tutorials come in. We have a whole playlist of just how easy everything in your motorhome is to work. If you have questions about finding the perfect floor plan for you, maybe instead of a Miramar, maybe you'd rather have a Super C, or maybe you think, oh, I'll step up into a diesel, or maybe you'd rather have whatever it may be. Our CoachLink sales advisor can help you out to find the floor plan for you, find a dealer near you so you can go check it out in person. So a lot of great resources for you at your fingertips. So we appreciate you watching today. Thanks for all your comments and questions throughout the day. If I haven't answered you, obviously here I'm, I'd rather talk to you and not look at my phone. I'm not that type of guy. We'll get you some answers in a little bit here. Um, and people who have answered, I've watched before. I'm trying to get through all those answers I can uh, as fast as I can. We have a whole team working on getting you the answers to your questions. So hang in there, be patient. We will help you all out. Thanks for watching. And we will see you back here again on wherever you are watching today, be it Facebook, YouTube, or Periscope. We'll